everyone, welcome back to The Restaurant Show, and we have got Executive Chef Chris Carty. Hello, Chef. Thank you How for having you? me. From Black Marlin over there um, in Palmetto Bay Marina, and you are going to bring um, onto the show right now the Frogmore Fa. The Frogmore Fa. You are just taking all kinds of cultures and mixing them all together. It is. It's a traditional uh, Vietnamese pho, mm -hmm. and we're mixing it with a Frogmore stew, which is basically a low country boil. I love it, and I, and I recognize parts of it. And then you're going to put them all together. I love it. Correct. I love it. All Correct. right, so what are we starting with? Because it smells delicious. So we're going to start with our broth. Okay. Uh, we're going to get this hot. And now the broth is really the key to it all. The Absolutely. flavors that are in it. The broth, we start off with uh, veal bones. Okay. And spices are cinnamon, clove, uh, allspice, Three. mirepoix, Four. celery, onion, carrot, yeah, right, right. bay leaves, love it. Um, whole garlic. There's more. Peppercorns. <laughs> It's a lot. It is a lot. It's and a how lot. long does it take you to make it? Um, it takes a good couple hours, maybe right. two, three hours right. for it to bring it up to a boil and back down to a simmer. I so. love it. And that's what we're smelling. Is that what I'm smelling? Is like the cloves coming out and Absolutely. The, some of those spices coming out. Okay, so we take that broth and then where do we go with it? Okay, so we're going to go to our low country boil. Uh, we're using oysters. Let me throw this off. Right quick. Is it... Sorry. There we go. Oh boy. <laughs> Okay, so we're using the, uh, those are from the area? Fresh know. shucked oysters. Love mm -hmm. it, love So it. we're going to poach them in the broth, as well as nice 1620 shrimp. Beautiful. Those are huge. That's yeah. awesome. Now tell me about the oysters, because I know you guys have some events. While we're waiting that for that to come up, you have some events coming up. We do, we and do. oysters uh, is the star, it is. aside it's my, from It's my favorite time you. of year. <laughs> um, <laughs> we get, uh, we're having oyster roast. Okay. It's, uh, October 10th. So this is on a Saturday, big event, big fun events, things going on. Starts at four. Uh, the band Native is going to play. Oh, cool! They're okay. on from six thirty to nine thirty. Is there a cover charge or anything like that? Uh, no, the... it's free. Perfect. Okay, Absolutely. good. We love that, right, so, guys? <laughs> and we just purchased a traditional oyster roaster. We're right. burning, so it's going to be very cool oh, to like roast our deal. cluster oysters. And Absolutely. you're going to have it going on. Now, as far as with the oysters, what type of oysters? Because my only knowledge of um, of the area of oysters here is the R, like in the R month. So this is obviously a good month. To get oysters, but there's a lot more to it. Than right, that. it starts in September, um, right. and as the air cools down, the water cools down, right. um, and it brings that nice, clean, crisp flavor to our local oysters. That so, um, end of this it. month and next month is going to be prime time. Awesome, and it's perfect time to do it. And you can get now, you, not just oysters. There's other items that you can get. Absolutely, um, at the roast. we got um, local clams. Mm -hmm. We have local cluster oysters, which you can buy half bucket and full bucket. And that's the ones that you're going to have to shuck. Correct. Yourself, right? You're going to have to shuck Correct. yourself. <laughs> and we also do um, Charleston salts, which are going to be on the half shell, half okay. dozen, full dozen. So that's Love another it. good option. So all kinds of things. And if you aren't an oyster lover, there's so much there to eat. Um, and one of the things, actually, since Chef was on last time, was on Food Network, and you featured one of your shrimp burgers. So I that was. will definitely be Shrimp there. burger will be around, absolutely. It was it was a very, very highly recommended. So. Good, good. <laughs> All right, so good deal. So we'll get back to the frog more fa. Um, so, so we're going to add some andouille sausage. Okay. Okay. It's going to go into the broth as well. Um, fresh shucked corn. Now the andouille sausage, just for those who know, is it spicy? Um, it's a little spicy. A little kick uh, to it, though. It's got a little uh, creole seasoning in it. Okay, so okay, it's great. It's good. Um, we've actually stewed down some collard greens and some bacon. So this is... I mean, all these parts of it, they. It this takes is a low a lot, country part. Right, and it takes a lot of time and effort because the collard greens isn't like instant either. I mean, you have to put time and effort into that too. No, that, that's a whole other process. That's a whole other process. I so, love it. Okay. Um, we're going to bring that up to a boil and then we use rice noodles. Okay. Uh, this dish is gluten free. Perfect. So, yeah, because everything in it. Yep, this is made out of rice flour and we use gluten free soy sauce. That's so it's fantastic. completely gluten free. Now, um, you actually have a lot of gluten free menu items. We do. This is one of our most popular. We mm -hmm. also have our grouper de fusky, which is a pan seared delicious. piece of grouper with uh, crab, andouille, and spinach crust. It's fantastic. Uh, over Parmesan, local stone ground grits, and because lemon Because the grits are corn. So That's there it. we go, peeps. So you don't have to worry about that. All right. So there then we're going to start. So this is the base of the. This is. This is kind of like, so this is, this is one big bowl This is one of big bowl of soup. Yes, yes okay. it's delicious. Love so it. these are par cooked. We're going to go ahead and add those to the broth and heat those up as well. Gotcha. Then okay. we can talk about the garnish a yes. little bit. 
And this this is what makes it so fresh and so different, so colorful. Absolutely. All right, what do we have on here, Chef? Um, so we're gonna start off with some bean sprouts for some crunch. Okay. Uh, we have cilantro. And these don't have to cook all the way down because you want that crunch. Yeah, you want that texture. So okay. we're gonna put those right on top. Okay. All this is gonna go right on top and you can kind of mix and match as you gotcha. please. Gotcha, okay. Um, we have fresh cilantro. Love it. Uh, basil, mint, fresh jalapenos for some heat. Okay. And radishes. And radishes. Now, if I don't want the heat, can I get it without the jalapenos? Absolutely. Okay. At the restaurant, we serve this at the, on the side, but here oh, we're Oh, it gonna... actually comes like this on the side of your... Yep. Yep, oh. so you can kind of interact with your own dish. So you're and, and... really building it as you go. So this is what, this is actually how it's going to come out with everything on the side of it. Yep, but today okay. we're going to put it on top okay. and show you the full version. So we're going to so. show you how you should make it. <laughs> right, right, right. Gotcha, okay. So we'll get this going and um, now, is this something that you have at lunch and dinner? Yes, we do have a smaller portion that's served at lunch. It um, won't be this huge amount this, of this, food. this is our dinner portion. So, okay, so. So you'll leave full. Oh, gotcha, Absolutely. gotcha. Okay. So if we have something, um, so uh, again, with lunch and dinner, do you guys take reservations? Do you, how do you? How do you... Uh, we do priority seating. Okay, because so. I know you have that beautiful covered patio now that's totally covered, and then you have the hurricane bar too. We do. And the, indoor seating. The patio's worked out real well for us. Yeah, so. it's beautiful out there. It's perfect for dining. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to make this frog morphal and get it uh, plated up the right way. And if you could just smell all of those spices are coming out, and it's just absolutely delicious. Good deal. And now, uh, again, Chef, when is the oyster roast? October 10th. October 10th. Starting okay. at 4 p.m. And again, you guys remember they are um, open seven days a week. Seven days a week. 24 hours a day. No Close. <laughs> Close. <laughs> seven days a week. And um, they do take uh, reservations through Open Table or go ahead and call them, and they will be more than happy to help you out with that. Perfect, so Chef. Start here. Beautiful. And he makes it look so easy and so fresh. And you too will be able to do this in the restaurant. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chef. We appreciate you coming on. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll be back in just a moment.